Alrighty, a crucial conversation I have had recently was with my boss about some issues that were happening at work over the last few months. A high stake was that I may quit my job or go down to part-time instead of full-time while I'm still going to school. Um, I am upset because I do not feel appreciated as employee. I am expressing issues to her that have risen with coworkers when she's not there. Um, those are the main issues, the high stakes and the emotions. And then we go into the opposing opinions. She disagrees with some of the issues that I'm bringing to her attention. And the tone of our conversation is getting a bit aggressive. I then looked back on the work on me first method. Um, I took a step back before and during the conversation and realized what was hurting me and what information was most important to address first, then I would move deeper into the emotional issues. Um, a few of the emotional issues that I brought to her attention were um, having no raise or even been looked at for a raise after one year of employment there. Um, Co-workers taking tips and uh, lying about it and talking behind my back to other co-workers. Um, let's see. I was also feeling very unappreciated by everyone, like I wasn't doing my job right, even though I was, and I was also going above and beyond and only like would get recognized for it every once in a blue moon. Um, we then go into the sheriff pooled meeting and um, I want to start with her meeting in this conversation. Uh, her daughter and best friend work for her and those two were a huge part of the issue, a whole, a big part of the co-worker issue I should say. Um, she has been there longer. Um, about 30 years, so that's almost as long as this restaurant business has been open. Um, she doesn't want to believe that her daughter and best friend could act the way that they are about it, and she is kind of having a hard time telling me that she wants to talk to them about the issues as well. Um, my meaning is they just flat out aren't treating me right and I feel like they are better people than they are co-workers and I brought that to her attention as well and um, one thing that she agreed with me on is yes she has seen the way that they act towards other um, co-workers in the past and how they act when they aren't at work and around people that they don't work with so that was one thing that we did agree on um, she agreed to chat with them and um, she also thinks that some employees are underappreciated, overworked, um, underpaid, etc. Um, but that's something that she can't control because she isn't in charge of the hiring, the firing, or the raise process. And she explained that to me and once I understood that then it was a little bit easier for me to take on this conversation. Uh, my move to action and her move to action. Um, my main move to action was um, actually getting up the nerve to come and talk to her about this because it had actually been bugging me for a couple months before um, I even thought about mentioning this situation to her. Um, after a week or so after the initial conversation, um, I sat down with her and I talked to her again about how her chat with the other coworkers had gone. Um, she said that they had gone good and she didn't mention any names, so she didn't mention my name to the other coworkers. Um, she just kind of made it an anonymous thing, which I also felt better about in the long run. Um, we sat down and had another conversation and I explained to her, I thanked her for getting up the nerve to go and talk to them and um, I felt better about the whole situation and I explained to her, I said, I will need to wait and see um, if there's a change in the actions and everything here in the workplace. 
Um, but I did feel better at the moment about the conversations that had taken place. Um, so the main source of conflict in this conversation for me was getting up the nerve to go and talk to my boss about the issues that were arisen at my workplace. And I think that once I overcame that, it was easier to sit down and have a conversation with her. And I feel like doing that actually helped better my employment there and made it a better work environment for me. So this was a very good conversation to have and it worked out good in the long run. So.